Okay, so today I would like to speak about um, the process of um, creating and the inspiration when we paint. I can only talk about painting because that is my field and um, I, but I can imagine what we feel when we, um, when we create music because I grew up in a family, a musical family, and my son creates music too, so I can watch what they are doing. And I, I think there is a connection between painting and music. For me, there is. Uh, some people are able to, to create painting without music. <laughs> they don't need music, they just... Um, for example, they can see a beautiful landscape and paint it. And uh, I think it, it's fine for me. There are beautiful landscapes which deserve to be painted. That's not the point. Um, some people are fascinated by an apple and can make uh, like uh, the thousands of paintings about an apple. Uh, I never got that, I respect that, but I never got that until I saw paintings by Picasso about an apple um, in the, like, a cubism style, I don't know how we say it in, in English, um, and suddenly I understood what he wanted to do, and I realized that this guy, Picasso, was really a genius, he was not just a famous painter, he was really a genius. Um, anyway, I, I, I'm not here to talk about Picasso. Um, I'm here to talk about the inspiration. How uh, I will explain to you, to you how I get inspired to paint. Um, but m my way of doing is not automatically the best. I mean, each person um, has. Uh, his or her own way to create and to be inspired. So it's valid for me, maybe it's not valid for you, I don't know. Actually, that's what I want to know. If you can tell me uh, things that inspires you and how your ideas are coming, I would be very interested in that. That, that would interest me because I don't understand why I absolutely need music to create. I'm not sure it's normal, but whatever, maybe some other people do that too. That's what, what I would like to know. Anyway, I've been painting a lot during years and years, and um, I, I was very inspired by music, as I was saying, but by rock groups like The Doors or The Who or even a little Jimi Hendrix. It was very short, but he came in one of my dream one night and it inspired me one or two paintings. So those are paintings that I made about Doors or the Who songs but not specifically about the lyrics of the songs. Uh, it could be as well the images I had in mind about the music, uh, and the images were not specifically linked to the lyrics. It could be, for example, this one, the Peace Frog, is completely linked to the lyrics, but um, for example, this one, uh, actually it's a triptych, so there are three paintings. Um, it's absolutely not about lyrics. It's about a dream uh, which was coming back again and again and again about a mix of Paris and Venice Beach in Los Angeles. So I made this painting. Um, because uh, it was important to me. So, I've been, um, during nine years, um, in a state, in a total lack of inspiration. 
it means that I was able to pay the landscape or an apple. That was not the problem. The problem was to find something meaningful to paint because I can't paint something if it's not meaningful for me, at least. Um, maybe for someone else it's going to be a piece of crap. I don't care. Uh, for me, it's some, it needs to be something meaningful, something which uh, goes directly to the heart, to the heart, you know, uh, to which speaks to me and uh, which has a meaning, and a meaning in the sense it it speaks about the meaning of life. You know, it's something much higher than painting, having success, selling, not selling, um, be famous or not, who cares? That's not the point. The point is to express something on a support, on, on something, music, on painting, on photos, on film, it can be on anything, and transmit it to other people. So other people are going, maybe not, maybe they are not going to care about it, that's possible, or maybe they are going to be touched by it. If there is at least one person touched by it, at least it, it would have been useful. useful yes. And lately, I was in my total blank, mine with no inspiration and I discovered this um, talk talk but um, I always love talk talk uh, since the 80s I'm sorry if I film really badly but I'm not a filmmaker and I only have an iPhone so far I, I hope to get a better camera soon as soon as I find what is the best for me anyway I was talking about Tok Tok. Um, I know them since a very long time. They have been in my life all the time. Um, I knew them from the very beginning, but what I didn't know, I didn't know the last three albums, and I was missing a lot. I was maybe missing the I wouldn't say the most important because the beginning was very important too, but I was missing something magic, I think. And I listened to that and it's like, it's like if the heaven fell on my head. Um, you know, I, I, I love other musics. Uh, present music. For example, I love the last uh, Daft Punk album, but it doesn't inspire uh, a painting to me. It does inspire um, happiness, um, good music, fun to dance on, uh, but not the meaning of something that you want to put on a canvas or a piece of wood or whatever and you want to talk about it, you want to tell a story about it, you want to explain what is in your mind through this music. Actually, when I paint with the music, I, I don't have the feeling that I'm the one who paints, I have the feeling that the music tells me what to paint. I'm just the hand who holds the, the brush but I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I just do. I don't think I do. And the music sings for me. Uh, that's very weird. I know I'm going to look like a weirdo right now, whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, whatever. It's so pleasant to paint like that with music and to feel, to feel something and to, to, to have the impression, to, to, to have the feeling to be crossed by something divine, magic, uh, something which is, um, I would say, sacred. I don't know what words to use, be because I don't want to fall in the religious or 
uh, a religion. I'm not religious. I don't want to talk about God. It's just that some music, I think, have a connection with something upstairs. <laughs> I don't know. Not upstairs. Uh, up. Yeah. I think so. So I started with this one. I'm going to show you. So I started with this one. You are wondering what is this thing. Um, it's actually um, a piece of wood. It's planks. I don't know what it is actually. I found it in the trash. I didn't know what to do with this thing. And suddenly I took it and I painted that. And that is, that is Mark Hollis. Uh, he looks like a comics book uh, person. Uh, but actually on the true picture, he looks like a comics book. Uh, I'm going to show you. Here is the actual picture. And this is my painting. So it's not so far away. Um, it was about an interview uh, on the Rai channel. It's an Italian channel. Uh, the interview was not really good, not because of Marcolis, but because of the the journalist who was asking the question. It was kind of ridiculous. Anyway, um, but he wa uh, Marcolis was talking about a book by Jean-Paul Sartre, and I, I didn't understand uh, what book it was. The translation, uh, the, the translation was covering uh, what he was saying in English, so I never heard the name of the book. Uh, maybe he didn't even say it, the book of uh, Jean-Paul Sartre. So if someone knows about it, uh, you can maybe tell me in the comments below. Uh, I think it was about the song uh, Living in Another World to You, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, it seems that Marcolis is very inspired by books for his songs, so that's interesting because uh, I, I'm using music to create painting and he's using books to create music. It's, it's kind of interesting. I, that's, that interests me a lot. So. Why did I do this painting? He looks like a comics book character. Um, why this photo? It's not the most meaningful of Mark Hollis. He's hiding behind his sunglasses and his hair. Um, but I think that the, you know, the, the background, the, the plank where I painted it is like, we are like, what is that? What's the use of this thing? And everybody's asking me, what's the use of this thing? I have no idea. I found it in a trash. I don't know what it is. And when we look at Marcolis like that, we don't know who he is either. He's like an enigma, you know? And like, he gives the list here. So why I started with this one? Maybe because I'm going to discover who he is. And right now, I don't know. Well, I guess, I guess, I have some guesses, but um, I don't really know. And I wanted to start with something easy and completely neutral. And usually, you know, I write things on my paintings. I al always write a like, kind of a message or a meaning or what I want to express. And here, nothing. Nothing is coming. I have nothing to say about it. Just his name. It's Mark Hollis and that's it. I, I wrote it here. So people are not going to ask me if it's Michael Jackson or I don't know who. Uh, someone told me John Lennon. No, it's not John Lennon. It's Mark Hollis. But um, he, he seems so much hiding here. And I wanted to know what is behind. So I started from the front. And now I need to enter inside. Well, no, that's not easy. But I have ideas. I have ideas about that. And um, I absolutely love his brown jacket. I want the same. 
okay, so and one day I discovered this spirit of Eden. I was playing it. I played it in my home when I was alone, and um, I couldn't believe what I was listening to. I couldn't believe that I didn't know this CD, this album. And I played it again in my shop here. And uh, I was painting on this small chair. I would show you. On this, nothing meaningful in this. It's a very simple job. Oh, it's, I'm sorry, it doesn't want to focus. So I was painting on this chair, nothing. Meaning food, it's just a small chair for a kid. And uh, suddenly, this music, with the sunset and me painting, I decided that this chair had found her, its name, its spirit of Eden. And it's funny because every people who are coming in my shop they don't especially want to buy the chair, actually I'm not sure I want to sell it, but they want to take a picture of it. So I think that somehow some magic went through the music and the chair and I was just in between to pass it from one thing to the other. That's my feeling. And it's just a, sh a chair, it's not a painting, it's not something that in, in 100 years we are going to say, wow, that is a piece of art. It's unbelievable. But when I painted it with this music, something happened. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, if you have the opportunity to listen to Spirit of Eden or Laughing Stock, or Mark Holly's album, solo album, do it. I'm not doing an advertising for Tok Tok or Mark Holly's right now. I don't get money for that. It's just my opinion. It's, uh, listen to that. Go to YouTube, read the, the comments by the people who are listening to that, you will see that I'm not alone. <laughs> Something is happening here. And I think that we need things like that, especially in a world where everything is so violent and sad and horrible. We need beauty, and that is pure beauty. It's pure beauty and it's, it's more than that. has to come back. He, he needs to come back. People, the world needs him. I'm not saying that there are no good musicians right now. Probably there are. Sometimes I, I, I hear something, I don't know who it is, but I hear something interesting. But that level, this level, I don't know anything else which can compete with that. That's my opinion. I mean, I don't pretend that I'm right, that I'm the only one who, I, who is right. Someone is going to tell me, oh no, Tok Tok is really bad. Uh, actually, uh, I prefer this person than this person. Fine with me. But... How not listening to this song and being overwhelmed, I don't know. He said that, you know, if you have the possibility to go and watch the YouTube video, the official one, it's very simple. He is playing the guitar and he's singing and sometimes he doesn't even move his lips because he's completely in 
in the song. Um, but uh, he said that it was stupid to do this video, that um, it looked ridiculous. It doesn't. This video plus the music is extraordinary. Uh, I think it's, I don't know a lot of human beings who are able to do that. That's my opinion. Thank you.